just met like you. A tarot card reading. reading. And she told me. So I was like, oh, so now Caleb, your boyfriend? Huh? Is that what you try to tell me at eight years old? You think you got a boyfriend? Girl, stop playing with me. Little, um, what's this? Tattoo? Cause y'all can go. But the ones that I be sitting on TikTok, like it wasn't ticking how it was talking on there. Why I want my money back. I It is now 11 in the morning. Y'all see Zuri? Hi! Yeah. I'm about to make my smoothie real quick. You already had that one. And already. then, yeah. We're gonna run some errands, me and Zuri. I think we're gonna make stuffed bell peppers tonight for dinner. Yeah. I also wanna go to Crumble and get some cookies. To try some cookies. Yeah! Why can't I open this? Ah! Give me that. And then, um, how do you do that? Ooh. Yeah, run to the store, go to Crumble, and then... Wait, where is Crumble? It's not far. And then, um, oh, come home, cook. Y'all, I was down for the count yesterday. <clears throat> I went out Saturday morning when I got off of work with the girls. We went downtown, caught the train, went to a um, Rihanna drag show. Oh my gosh. I'm going to insert some clips because the show wasn't given at all. Like, I would never go back there. But, of course. Ooh. We made fun with what we was. Okay, y'all. Oh, sorry. Look, your girl got a camera, y'all. Your girl got a camera. I don't know how to work it and play with it and all that. Like, it literally came Friday. Today is Monday. I just opened it and pressed start. <laughs> My baby coming. You got him? You got him? All right, cool. So, like I said, uh... We finna go probably to Jules first. Jules for the bell peppers, cause I'm cooking bell peppers. So I gotta go to Jules. I need to get meat, bell peppers, Velveeta cheese, mushrooms, rice. Mm. I think that's it. And then we're gonna go to Crumble because we want come cookies. Yes, we want to try the um Crumble cookies of the day. You know they like change their flavors and like all that. And this will only be my second time having them. I have I had them on my dad's Wait. birthday like a year ago, probably two years ago now. How do you get them? Cause it was Papa's birthday and he had them for his birthday. So that's what we're about to do. What else do we have to do? I need to go. Oh, I feel like it's something else, y'all. It's Monday. Yesterday, I was down all day. I threw up from Saturday going out with the girls. We went to brunch, bottomless mimosas, and then we went to a Rihanna show at uh, downtown at Macy's Walnut. Oh my goodness, girl, I was down. I was down for the count. First of all, I worked Friday night from 12 midnight to 8 a.m., got off, <laughs> went to my friend's house. Got dressed, took a shower, all that shit, got ready. We made it to the train station at 9.50 because that morning the train took up, yeah, 
got to the brunch that we had reservations at 11 45 it was a lot i was tired i was delirious and then drinking on top of that and then oh my goodness i'm gonna insert some clips the way that i we was acting at our big old age we need our ass whooped, but that's neither here nor there let's get ready let's get ready to go oh i ain't even welcome y'all if you new to my channel welcome chocolate emoji here hey y'all it's very much giving chocolate emoji the weather's starting to get nice so we i'm really straying away from the wigs and going back to the i'm bringing sexy back yeah the mother boy don't know how so yes but welcome to my channel make sure you guys subscribe like and comment and turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified whenever i post another video because your girl she's about to get real active Anywho, let's go. Um, all right, come on, baby. We made it to Jewels, y'all. Hang on, my keys. Lock it up. Get on this side. It's gonna be a day. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Let's see. Don't act like Yeah, we made it to crumble. Like there. It's right there. Can y'all see? Is it like right there? It is. So we're gonna do the weekly test. But we don't know. I mean if you want like you want to shop for chip. Well, let's see what they have for this week. Yeah. Do you shop like this? Hang on. Okay, so we finished ordering the cookies. I got like two minutes. And then I'm going to pull up into this curbside pickup. And yes, grab our cookies. And we're done. I got what I'm going to cook for dinner tonight. We got our desserts. And um, we're going to go home. That was mainly it for today. I wanted to do all this stuff yesterday. But like I told you, I went out Saturday. And... Baby, when I say I was down for the count, I was down for the count. I was messed up. I was, oh, baby, Lord, Jesus. I'm going to insert a video of the um, TikTok we were playing. We did TikTok. I'm going to add some videos, y'all. I ain't had a night like that in a minute. And then that was Saturday we went out. So Sunday, I wanted to, well, I was supposed to meet up with a friend, and me and him were going to go to, um, Oh, we took so many cute pictures. We were going to go to, what is it called? Omega, which is this, like, breakfast restaurant next to my house, and I love it. But, baby, after going out, mm -mm, she wasn't going to make it. I text him, like, listen, I can't do it. We just going to have to, uh, when we catch each other, we catch each other. Because this, this ain't it. And then I've been, my grandma finally just came home. She's been in the hospital for almost two weeks. She has health issues. I probably got a little footage from this morning from me getting up. It was like five something to help her because um, she just came home yesterday. She's been in the hospital for like nine days. She has COPD of the lungs. So she, my mom, my dad, my mom's husband got sick and then he got her sick. And then just being in a house together, my grandma got sick from my mom, and by her having um, respiratory health issues already, it was kind of <laughs> messing with her really, really bad one night to the point where she couldn't breathe, and she already has asthma on top of the COPD. Wait, so what? she went to, we called it, mom, I was at work, because this happened like late at night. I was at work, and yeah, she had to be rushed to the hospital. Anywho, 
She's been in there and like the way that they were treating her, she has a burn mark on her ear and neck like skin is missing, like chunk of skin missing. And we just don't understand. We like that hospital was horrible. Northwest out in Arlington Heights, horrible. Never go there. I'm telling you right now. But uh they as soon as she got there, she's claustrophobic, so they tried to put an ox oxygen mask on her and she started resisting and going crazy. So they told my mom like okay in order to help her and get the medicine into her body because she they had to do a breathing treatment for her they had to put a tube down her throat but in order to do that she, they had to sedate her so she wouldn't fight them so they gave her fentanyl steroid and like an antibiotic but they kept her on it for she came home on the ninth day they kept her on it for eight days and then like literally from the night she got there until day eight she was sedated so how the hell did she get this burn mark on her ear what the fuck is in her room i'm sorry for cursing but this is my grandma what's in the hospital room that she's in that's hot enough to burn her ear like blood bleeding down her pillow where she sleep she's been asleep for eight days sleeping beauty so it was just a lot going on and then they kept saying well we're trying to wing her off the fentanyl we're trying to wing her off of this but it's like dude no y'all not because Every day we come in, it was still on the same, like, measurement. No, if you're going to wake her off, okay, 10, 5, take her the fuck off. Like, she needs to wake up. She came in here for a breathing problem. Y'all giving her this strong, addictive drug, first of all. And then y'all are, um, it was just, like, burn marks. It was just a lot of shit. And then when we asked when was her last treatment, y'all don't know. It was just, like, a lot of miscommunicating and... Ain't like it. Ain't like it at all. Especially when your family member is asleep. They don't even know what's going on. Can't defend themselves. Can't tell you what's going on. She woke up. She was so drugged up. She thought that she was in a car accident. She asked, did, did I wreck my car? I said, baby, you was at home finna go to sleep and just had it, a really bad asthma attack. That was it. Nothing. You did not wreck your car. But she was so drugged up and like her voice is still so messed up that she can't even talk like she can't she can talk but she she sounds really 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 hoarse because that tube was in her throat for eight days she's coughing up blood like clocks and stuff like that so it's really just healing from here on out because she's doing she got hauls she's been doing like lemon and water you know just to get her throat back soothing and to feel better so therefore we're glad to have her home all that good stuff but i woke up early helping her Yesterday when she came home here, I need to help. I was, I was, I was, baby, I was stretched out. Zuri was in there with me. Zuri was in there with me. And then, yeah, that's pretty much been my life. I've been working. I tried to apply for this new position at my job because your girl don't want to be on nights anymore. She wants to work regular hours because this shit is, is for the birds. This shit is highly illegal. But someone else got the position. And it would have been a $6 raise. Boy, Couldn't I could use it right now. But I'm not going to stress on it. One thing I can say. So I went to a psychic like a month ago, me and my mom. This was our first time we did a tarot card reading. reading. And she told me that... She told me a lot. First of all, she told me Zuri used to be, she used to, she was here before, back in the 1860s. She, um, she was like a pharmacy technician type. She used to work in like a lab and she was very masculine and feminine. And at that time, you know, misogynistic ways and stuff. Women couldn't show that they were smarter than men and better than men and whatever. So her boss used to take all her ideas. And she didn't like that. And then when she became of age, like she went further back than that. Like when she became of age between, you know, like 10 and 14, that's when girls start, you know, getting their cycle and whatever hormones started changing. So she, her dad was like, oh, you got to marry this guy up the street because, you know, arranged marriages back then. And she was like, oh, no. So she's all, when she, the, the, the psychic or tarot card reader said when she came back in this life, she made it a point to make sure that nobody dims her light, especially like when it comes from a man. She's like, but honestly, it's for anybody. And if y'all know, me and this child be fighting my little Scorpio, but she ain't going, ain't nobody finna dim her light. She is the greatest and she love it here. She told me that she's going to be really, really great with numbers, like in a cognitive pattern way, like in a future with counting and stuff, which... I always made sure she was really great at math because I sucked at math. 
my freshman year I sucked but then when I remade took it on my second year it was um I passed with flying colors honestly I thought it, honestly if you ask me it was my teacher my teacher was a shitty teacher like I couldn't deal with a teacher who can like joke and make laughs and hee hee and ha ha and go back and forth and then go back into the lesson like, I need you to stay on the lesson, stop trying to hee-hee and ha-ha with the jocks and shit, and then come back and stuff. No, stay on one subject, which is math, goddammit, algebra, fudge. But anyways, um, that was that. She told me a man is going to come into my life on, like, May and June to make my daughter and I happy. She said, she said a lot of other personal stuff that I ain't going to share with y'all because, yeah. But... She knew a lot about my past, and from what she knew about my past and death, not just no generalized cliche shit, it made me believe what she had to say about my future, if that makes any sense. You feel me? So I'm really excited about that. Um, your girl just been chilling, working and chilling, working and chilling. It's starting to get nice out. The weather is breaking, so I have been outside a lot more. I have been, you know. I've been outside a lot. I've been in the city. I've been going to new restaurants. I'm sorry I ain't been recording because I didn't want to record on my phone anymore. The quality was was crapping, crappy and I didn't want to record on there. And I was just, you know, having fun, living in the moment. But now that I ordered this camera, it just came in Friday, three days ago. I'm like, okay, let's get to it, girl. Get to it. I ain't even been active on nothing. I just been chilling, living life honestly. But now, like I said, the weather's getting nice. It's breaking. We're going to do better. And um, we're going to get these cookies. I should have been pulled up, honestly, into this um, curbside pickup, which I'm about to right now. And then um, we're going to go home and relax probably for a little bit and then get these, get to cooking. How did y'all feel about Rihanna's Super Bowl performance, though? Because I didn't watch it honestly until like two days later because I just don't watch football and I didn't I wasn't I just didn't care. That was my Sunday. I was off. I was actually in the city that day. Anywho, not here or there. How did y'all feel about it? Because I um loved it. Cookies are being prepared. God damn, I thought they was ready. We hope you enjoy. Bring me my shit. Anyways, I didn't care that she was uh I love that she's pregnant again. Everybody like, oh my gosh, they wanted her to give so much more energy because she hasn't performed live in eight years. She's a fucking billionaire. She doesn't have to work, like, that hard. Do y'all get that? When you become a billionaire, I'm speaking that over your life, when you become a billionaire, are you going to be working as hard as you was before? No. Exactly. She ain't got to do all that shit, especially for us. She ain't got to do shit for us. Besides, keep pushing out that Savage X Fenty and that Fenty Beauty skincare. That's it, honey. Honestly, I would listen to all her old records. I do, still, to this day. I told you I just went to a Rihanna brunch yesterday, which was trash. But I'm a support. Either way, whether she coming out with new, new stuff, new music, or not. Like, she wears many hats. She's dominating many fields. And if Savage X Fenty clothing line and Fenty skincare is surpassing, like, everything, why the hell she got to worry about music? She just put out that song for, um... What was the movie? Black Panther? Yeah. So, you know, that was a little dose. That's going to hold us for the next eight years. <laughs> but I enjoyed I enjoyed it. To me, she did a good job. ASAP was so cute. Recorded her like, that's my, that's my baby. With my baby. It was super cute. But y'all drop down below. How did y'all feel about it? Because a lot of people had like a mixed emotions about it and mixed feelings. And I'm like... I feel like she did uh, great. We made it. So. Hi, how are you? Good. Yes. Tajay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi. 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 Hi.
Oh, can I take some? Yeah, no. And then I'm going to throw it in the garbage. Throw it in the meat, Mom. Mmm. With meat? Yeah. The shrimp garbage? Mmm. Look at that bitch. You're not eating this? Alright y'all, we can try these crumble cookies. Y'all see my note? I put I love you. Oh, they did they make you like make a note yourself? Yeah. Oh, okay. It was a dollar more. I really didn't need it. But these are cookies, y'all. That's cinnamon toast crunch on top of them? Uh, these people take too long. I got to go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom, Uh, Which one you want to try? The one right there in the front. That one right here. This uh, one, this one. Okay. Yeah. All right. This ice cream. It feel. Try. All right. This one is Neapolitan. Birthday cake. I really don't remember the names. But anywho, I'm gonna try it. Zuri! Zuri, your mom's calling you. I forgot the name of them. Yes, mom. Here. Yes, I want to look at this. Where's Caleb? mama? Look at this. Caleb, look at this. Oh, Cookies. Cookies. Where's mama? Does she want a piece of this? Yes. Ma! Oh, Do you want a piece of the cookie? What a piece of the cookie? Are you trying to? Which one is this? Cinnamon? I forgot the name of them, honestly. But you, it's the first one. Do you have a website? Uh-huh. My phone. My phone. Yeah. They bust you. They bust your mm. Can you send me some? Okay. This one isn't bad. You just want to take You want to try birthday cake? I just, I'm not an icing person. Really? Mm -mm. I mean, I will eat it, but I when it's that. too much, I don't like it. When it's too much icing, I can't fuck with it. The next one is Neapolitan. I know this one is Neapolitan. Let me show y'all how it look. Mm -hmm. I see we got chocolate, then I don't know, and pink. So it's literally like Neapolitan. Um, Oh, I'm sweeter. 
Okay. Oh, it looks so good. Um, I'm off my poop. This one? Oh, yeah. I'm going to cut it skinnier. I'm going to cut it more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You said what? I said I'm having. I know. It's like too much. Too much sugar. It's very rich. They are rich. Like, really good cookies, but it's too much. Ah! Oh, whatever. Ah! Right. Look like the nurse here. It's the nurse coming to check on my grandma. So, Ma. All right, y'all. Uh, is it focusing? Cause once I put these glasses on, I can't see. But we out here walking. If y'all can hear construction noise, the path that we chose to walk on, they're building new buildings, new apartments, luxury apartments. Anywho, it's me and the girls out. My sister. Zuri's in front of us on the phone with her best friend. She stay on the phone with Kaylee. So you know what she gonna tell me yesterday? She said, what if I had a secret boyfriend? <laughs> I said, I would say, why is he a secret? And she just looked at me and was like, mm-mm. Then she said, who's my best friend? I said, who's your girl best friend or who's your boy best friend? because she has a girl best friend, Michelle, and then she has Caleb, he's a boy. She was like, who's my boy best friend? I said, Caleb. So I was like, oh, so now Caleb your boyfriend? Huh? Is that what you try to tell me at eight years old? You think you got a boyfriend? Girl, stop playing with me. He live all the way in Texas. That's why. Look at her. And she think, mm -hmm. She on the phone, for real, for real. She's what? We probably gonna walk to the end of this damn thing and walk right back. Cause A, it's still a little chilly and I ain't got no wig or a hat on. My ears are cold. It's okay. Look at God, I don't do it. <laughs> but all right, I'm gonna check back in with y'all later. Oh my goodness, y'all. So, we're at like this neighborhood park. I don't even know. We don't live here, but we saw the park. So we was like, okay, let's go to the park. My sister and my daughter. Anywho. How was y'all Valentine's Day? Uh, mine was cute or whatever. My friend wanted to send me some flowers <laughs> to my job, but I work at midnight. So everything's closed. He's like, motherfucker. He was going to be nice to send me some flowers. I love him. I know I'm really loved out here in these heartless streets, for real, for real. Um, I did go and buy myself flowers because I just, I do that whenever I feel like it. But I didn't have like a Valentine. Zuri, my daughter is always my Valentine. Fun story, she was conceived on Valentine's. So, meaning I made her on Valentine's and then I had her nine months later. So that's why it's always like, okay, Zuri, what do you want to do? She wanted to go to Red Lobster this year. So that was that. Normally, last year, where did we go? Last year, we went to Kyoto, which is like hibachi restaurant, which is like our favorite, my whole family favorite. We go there for everybody's birthday. We go there. We went there for my mama um, wedding reception. We love us some hibachi, baby. That rice and vegetables, some garlic, spicy shrimp. Mm. Girl. That shit touches my soul. It's still a little chilly. But how was y'all Valentine? Comment down below. Let me know what y'all did. I know like once you get to a certain age, it's kind of not important anymore. Like it's cute and stuff, but when you with the right person and you truly love them, every day is Valentine's Day. Every day is a just because day. Every every day is like I appreciate you. Thanks for what you do. Does Matt like you? Matt has a girlfriend. Hell no. Everybody thought that. I everybody thought everybody that. used to couple us. Is that like our best friend? We best are. Friend? That's my. We ride together, we die together. Back for life. Who's your favorite friend? Besides Kiwi. Matt. Shay. But yeah, everybody. Everybody was, yeah. 
everybody always used to try to couple me and man y'all comment down below and let me know because even like people he used to date in the past thought that me and him were like messing around or like people i dated like her dad thought that we were messing around i'm like dude we've never we've never kissed we never did nothing not a damn thing he's just somebody i trust and i trust his opinion as a man he always like i feel safe around matt i know matt one thing about it if we go anywhere i'm protected and he he's just a cool ass person he don't be on that funny shit trying to say some slick ass little sexual shit he don't be on none of that we just be really talking shit <laughs> all the time we some big kids and then it, we we went to middle school and high school together so we've known each other for like 15 years so it's just if we were going to be together we would have been been together right now if it was meant to what happen Oh, she's talking about my, uh, the psychic who, the, t the tarot card reader. She said, in May or June, a man is going to come and make me and my daughter happy. She said, I don't know him, though. She said, it's somebody you don't know. She said, he's older than me. She said, that could be by a week, a couple months, a couple years. Did she say that we would like him? She just said, he's going to make me and my daughter happy. <laughs> I don't know about y'all. <laughs> if, if, if me... Marcus and Ricky don't like her, and Mama don't like him. What would you do? Would you still like him because he makes you very happy, or would you like break up? I didn't like nobody. Zuri didn't. She didn't. Did. Like she she don't. She don't like nobody. But um, I don't know, girl. I would try to ask y'all why y'all don't like him. Y'all have to give me a valid reason. If y'all just saying y'all don't like I don't him just like because, him. I'm gonna be like, y'all childish yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> But if it was like a valid reason why y'all didn't like him, nah, I couldn't. Because I'm a family oriented person. I like having game nights. I like having movie night. I like folks going out to dinner. I like when we have family dinner night at the house. Yeah. In seven, seven years, years you'll be an alcoholic. Because then in seven years, you're going to be 20. I'm finna say, I am 29 right now. Why? What you, why, why you can't wait to be 21? It sucks. It's shitty. Oh, I mean, that part is fun. That part is fun. The other part sucks. It's ghetto as hell. Yep. Like, if you get a job and, yeah. Your job's gonna start taking tax taxes out of your checks. Every time you get paid, they take money. The state of Illinois takes money, and then the government of the whole United States of America takes money. So you gotta pay both of them, and then whatever's left over, you keep. And you have to do that January through fucking then December. And then, in February, March, when you get your W-2s, you can file taxes, and they gonna give you back some of that money. Not all of it. <laughs> but... If you have a kid, you get back a lot more. So you do, you get... You I get, yeah, I get back a decent amount. Whereas the, if you single and ain't got no kids, you get back something, but not a lot. And then, like, if you got five kids, you get back a lot. I'll see how people do. She. We're gonna pay for them little motherfuckers. <laughs> not I! <laughs> but, um, it's, uh... What if you have that's that's i that's mean that's up to you i mean nick cannon got about 12. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, you sure is right you sure. Yeah, if you can do it if you can you afford it and you got enough that. patience and time for all them kids god bless america mm -hmm. me on the other hand i want one more child and i'm done i'll be okay with two more because i really want twin twins because i'm a twin but my twin sister passed away so i want to experience that 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 i'm gonna sit y'all up hang on because i ain't gonna be holding y'all like i ain't i ain't got no goddamn trap out of shit y'all that's heavy y'all needs to go on a diet <laughs> jay i'm just saying y'all need to go on a diet can y'all see me it's like no ooh. But, yeah but no ooh, ooh, ooh. girl that's what i'm saying i'm gonna sit over here on the blue one because the sun <laughs> needs to be on me i'm black but uh what was I finna say? I'm sitting right here. I don't. I want 
twins. I really have always wanted twins. Ah. But if I don't get twins, I will be okay. But um, yeah, if I, I'll be okay with one more child. I would want him to be obviously a boy. Zuri, on the other hand, she has a brother, a little brother on her dad's side of the family already. Well, from her dad. And then my best friend, she has a son. Then my other friend, she has a son. And then she's got all these, well, she has best girlfriends too, but she has guy friends. So she's tired of being around boys. Who, me? So she wants a little sister. However, yes, you. Oh. I want, I want a boy. Because I already have no. a girl. She wants a sister. So whatever God gives us. But like to seriously think about that. Think about it though. Three girls in a house on their cycle at the same time. I, I Do you know what that means? No. Like on their period at the same time? Because when you're around girls, all of your periods sync. So you will all, like me and Tania, we come on at the same time because we're always around each other. So if me, you, and we had a little girl, your little sister, we would all be on at the same time. We, you, when, you, you see how I act when I come on? How do I act? Bad. Right. So all of us gonna be acting bad? That's a lot. We need some I don't want three brothers. I do not. I didn't say three brothers. I said one more. No, like you want a boy and I want, you want a boy and I want a girl. Yeah. I don't want three brothers. Oh, you're talking about because Carter and then I rules? Yeah, and then I'm gonna be your own sister. That's true. Well, whatever God gives us, we're just gonna have to be happy as long as the baby is healthy and happy. Yeah, hopefully a good girl. Or twins? You don't want twins? I do. What kind? <sighs> huh? Same that looks like me and you. Girls? Yes. Okay. I don't. I don't. I don't want that. I will be happy with it, but if I'm being completely honest, I don't want that. I don't want two girls. <laughs> I'll be okay with a girl and a boy. Let me stop planning. Cause God is laughing at me. Whatever he blesses me with is what I'd be happy with. But I do want more. I want more. Zuri's already eight. She's gonna be nine this year. My goal was to always have my kids like three, three years apart. That was my goal. But with me and Zuri's father ending or whatever, I knew that wasn't gonna happen. However, I never wanted Zuri to be such, like, there, there to be such a big age gap. Zuri's, yeah, when I was, when Ricky was born, I was 10. So we're 10 years apart. I'm 29, he's 19. Me and you are 16 years apart. Yeah. That's why when I had another child, I didn't want them to be so far apart because, like, me and my brother and sister, we cool, but we don't go out together. I'm the I'm the I'm the goddamn the sibling who drops the them off at the mall and shit and <laughs> yeah. cook dinner and make sure things are taken care of. I didn't get to hang out with them growing up because we were our age was such. My mom had us far apart. Mm -hmm. Ricky and you are six years apart. Me and you are sixteen years apart. Me and him are ten years apart. Mm -hmm. So when I had another child, I wanted them to be like three years apart, the most maybe five years apart. But. Now Zuri gonna be a babysitter, cause she ain't gonna like that baby. Whether it's a girl or a boy, she's talking about she want a girl. You still not gonna wanna be around a baby, because no. you are gonna be changing that pamper, feeding them, watching yeah. them while I'm at work, like all that other stuff that you you think is gonna be fun and it's not. Uh, it's not. I've always wanted to change a diaper for some reason. Your daddy don't want more kids? No. No. I mean, well, you're 14. I wouldn't want to start the hell over either. Shit, buying pampers, yeah. all that. Girl, that's a lie. Maybe Dylan or Rachel. No, Dylan don't want no kids. He don't? No. But nobody wanted kids. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's on the right path. <laughs> he said he doesn't want any kids. No? No, like never. Even if the right person comes along, yeah, he's just so happy in love with her. And she's like, I want to have a child with you. <laughs> He'll be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go, <laughs> gotta go, the <It> works. <laughs> nah, he don't want no kids because he was a he. Uh, my grandma and my brother said that he was a bad kid when he was growing up. 
So he don't want to have a kid because he think his kid gonna be bad. Yeah, they don't want they don't want another Dylan running around. <laughs> Tell them don't be like that. First of all, <laughs> so we don't want your child. But uh, it do be like that sometimes. Zuri act like me. No, mm -hmm. not yeah. how I was when I was a kid though. You can ask mama when we go home. I was nothing like her. I was the complete opposite. I was quiet. I was scary. Wow. If you yelled at me, I cried. Because why are you yelling? Your voice is too high. That's See, that's me right there. But now, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Yell at me. Man. But before, I would cry. Zuri, Zuri ass want to argue. Zuri will talk about she, Who is you talking to? <laughs> I'll be having a check her. My child ain't bad, but she definitely is opinionated. She is a Scorpio, y'all. And I also raised her to be opinionated and to know that her her voice matter. But I be having a real her back sometimes because she do the most. She does she the back most. To everybody. everybody. Mama, grandma, brothers, yeah. Sister. But that's what the psychic said. She was here before, so when she came back, she made it a point not to let anybody dim her light. Baby, ain't nobody trying to dim your light. Just shut up. Just shut up. Just shut. Shut up. Yeah, she <laughs> don't. She don't seem to get that. But mm -hmm. this sun is down. It's it's beating. Yeah. But it's nice that it's just warm. It's nice. Um, oh, my psychic, the tarot card reader also said that I'm going to get a dog. And if y'all know, for the past like eight months, Zuri has wanted a dog. She wants a husky. Where we live, our neighbor, Sykes, this guy I know, he has a, um, a husky. His He's name is so Ghost. Cute. He is. Ghost is so cute. But I don't want no husky. They are very playful. They talk a lot and they shed a lot. Oh yeah, the shedding, yeah. And they big dogs, so they gonna poop big. And I'm not cleaning that. I'm just not. I don't. Oh, I don't clean her. Cat? I don't clean her poop. Why the fuck would I want to do that? <laughs> like I'm just being real. Why the hell would I want to do that? And they say like dogs are like a kid, you know. Mm -hmm. Do I look like? I want to go back to change diapers and shit like that. I mean, after I just said I wanted a child, I do. But, like, no, that's very abrupt and very soon. Mm -hmm. I don't even get a chance to wait nine months pregnant. That baby just be there shit. <laughs> She's there shit and pissing. That's working with my nerves. I can't do it. But mm -hmm. she did say in a couple months I will get a dog. She said you want a small dog, but you're going to end up with a big dog. Hey, y'all. It's a little bit later. Um... I look real orange. I don't like that. I gotta play with this camera, y'all. I gotta play with it. I'm not, you know. But anyways, um, I want to show y'all these PMS gummies that I've been taking. Can y'all see them? PMS gummies. I got them off of Amazon. I'm gonna link them down below. They are, oh, I hope I say it right. Chastity berry, cranberry, angelic root extract, and vitamin B6. They help with cramps, bloating, hormonal acne, and mood swings. And baby, you take one a day, and they've been helping me. It's that time of the month for me, so. I also ordered this. It's emotional self-care for black women. Y'all know I'm on that, that, that journey right now. And I'm absolutely loving it. So I'm about to start cooking dinner, me and Zuri, because my baby loves cooking with me. And then um, I'm going to start working on this self-care book because i haven't even started it i got one for my mom for valentine's day and i got one for me and um yeah so i'm gonna answer probably like two pages as i wait for food the food to cook and whatever and all that and then um yeah after that i'm pretty much gonna read i got this other book off of it says a thousand boy kisses yeah i got this because tiktok tiktok made me do it yeah, I just been ordering stuff like this. It's it's like a little um, what's this tattoo? As y'all can see, so it came in like a six pack. I want an under boob tattoo, but I wanted to see how it looked on me, cause a my boobs are small, and I'm not extremely insecure about them, but you know, I just want my titties to look or my boobs to look how they look before I had a child sucking on them. I don't even want them bigger. I just want them to sit up. But that's neither here nor there. I ordered these to see how they look on me before I commit to actually going to get a full another tattoo. Honestly, just I want to make sure it looks right, which it did. It did. I wore it Saturday. It's already coming off because I didn't took like I don't know how many showers. And um, yeah, but. I ordered these off Amazon too. 
everything i can link everything down below but y'all i just been ordering order it's a tower you wash your hands yeah Hey y'all, uh, we're done cooking. These are the bell peppers. You know, they ain't gotta be eaten no. all. They gonna get eaten. So now we can put them in the oven for about, I'm gonna say 25 minutes. Aha! That shit heavy, boy. 25 minutes be good. And we'll be back. Now I'm gonna clean up. Not in the fucking mood. They gonna be a father. You sitting up here telling me, little bitch, I've been doing it 10 years. Don't I? Not even that cool. We're not even that fucking cool. Alright, y'all. The food is done. The girls are eating right now. My aunt, my mom are here talking to my grandma. Her physical therapist just left and all that. So, if y'all hear them, that's that. I'm about to take a shower. I still haven't started journaling. I showed y'all a little bit the book, but I want to re read it thoroughly, thoroughly through before I start it. And I just want to dedicate time to actually sitting down and doing it and not being distracted. Because, you know, when you live with a lot of people, you, you it's just noise, 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 noise. Which I've been used to it my whole life. Throw on some motherfucking earbuds. I know how to ignore the shit. Ooh, let me stop cursing. I know how to ignore the hell out of people. Never care. So, I'm about to just do my face routine. You know, I didn't break myself so many times. Y'all see this? Burn, burn, burn. Because I be rushing or I'm half asleep when I'm like up getting ready for work. Cause I get up at 10 o'clock, have to be at work at midnight. So I get up after sleeping with a bonnet and all that on. You know, try to curl, make myself look a little bit presentable, cause I think because I everyone knows that I'm bald, I can just go to hair with messy hair day, aka messy wig, and I'll be like, girl, be effing for real, act like you love yourself, go to work and look presentable, whether it's midnight at night or not. Like when you look good, you feel good. So. My alarm. It's six o'clock. That's time Zuri's supposed to be eating dinner, which she is. 
Even though she don't got school tomorrow. But, um, yeah. I'm gonna get in the shower now. And honestly, I think I'm gonna end the vlog right here. The daily vlog. If not, then I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow when we take Zuri to get her hair cut. But that's gonna be the only thing that I do. After that, I'm coming home and I'm going to sleep because I have to work tomorrow night. so much cause i really care too much it's all just overwhelming i'm just overthinking i feel like i'm too much keep mistaking my anxiety for intuition and stress keeps getting in the way of my Company is like putting her face because she's a director 
Mm -mm. Yeah, boss chick. So she um she had to take these pictures so they can. They can put them on the website for my mom. Hire people for her departments. So I'm trying to edit the background. It's 9-11. Zuri, home again. It's gonna be. Um. Well, you get good food because I'm terrible. You said what? I'm making good food. Eggs. You wanna make scrambled eggs? Yeah. Ooh, my back hurts.
It is 10:10 10, 10 in the morning. As y'all can see, I worked out. I got um the laundry started. I only needed to do the whites, honestly, because my daughter's tank tops they needed to be washed and for the school week. She need undershirts and whatever. Fair Zuri cook breakfast. I'm about to go drop off my grandma's prescription. And then um, I gotta pick something else. Pick up some orange juice and milk, little stuff for her and the kids. Zuri has school, lunch, and all that. I did that yesterday. So yeah, I'm gonna go do this. Rush back to get Zuri because her haircut appointment is at 10 1045. But it's literally right here, like right here. So that's a plus. India. Uh, yeah, your girl tag. I don't even know why I woke up this early. Look at y'all moving and shit. Yeah. I'm done. I don't want to be the oldest goddamn grandchild, the oldest granddaughter. I mean, the oldest child. I don't want. I want to quit every position I hold currently because I hate feeling like I'm rushing. I hate it. Like I was doing great. I woke up at seven, and now it's like it's ten thirty-three. I went to Walmart at like ten ten ten, which it's like literally six minutes straight up the street from my house. Dropped my grandma's prescription off. Picked up some orange juice, milk, stuff like that. And soap for my daughter. Came out. And then my grandma wants an Italian beef dip with hot peppers. So now I'm at Pertillo's. They opened at 10.30. It is 10.34. Zuri hair point appointment is at 10.45. Which is also literally two minutes from where I'm at right now. So I have to swing, pick Zuri up. She's already dressed and then go. I shouldn't have fucking stopped here. I feel like I should have just came back after Zoe's appointment. But I don't want to because I want to also go home and shower. I still haven't ate. I need to eat my damn food. Fucking, I just made breakfast for everybody. My grandma ate breakfast. I don't even know why she wants this. Oh, my goodness. She shouldn't even be eating this shit, man. You know, stubborn old ladies when they anyways. And she's my grandma. What am I supposed to, I'm supposed to tell her now? Come on now. I just I hate rushing. I hate feeling like I'm rushing because at that point it's like mm, anxiety. Anxiety is the tone for my whole day now because it's only the morning time. It's still 10:35. Like I ain't even made it to the afternoon. Now my whole fucking day feels like it's rushed because each task I feel like is being pushed back more and more. So it's irritating. So, I'm about to leave, honestly, and just fucking come back. Because I don't have the time. I really don't. And they're taking forever. <clears throat> okay, y'all. Turn to the side, girl. Turn to the side. Let them see. Let them see. She didn't get a design this time. But we made it. I made it exactly at 1045 on the dot. Woo! It might have turned to 1046 as soon as we was walking in, but it don't matter. I'm a, a win is a win, goddammit. We made it. So now we're finna go home. Hi. I'm going to take a shower. Hey, and, guys. Um, Do you guys like my baby picture? Sure. Oh. Hang on. Let me show y'all her baby picture. Can you all see? My little wugga wugga. That's me. You're so cute. Anyways, yeah, we're about to go home. Um, I'm going to shower, then eat. And, um, yeah. That's it for me. Shower, eat, and then I'm going to... Oh, I don't know. Okay, yeah. I have showered. Um, I finished clean the, cleaning up. I did the, finish the laundry, fold everything, put everyone's clothes where they can find them. Um, I still haven't eaten because, <laughs> you know, mom life. Just, I found Zuri clothes for tomorrow for school because she goes back to school Wednesday. I always like to just make things as easy as possible 
for my mom in the morning because obviously I get up for eight o'clock. My daughter bus comes before that, so my mom gets her on the bus and stuff for me. So I try to make everything as easy as possible. Have her book bag ready. Her clothes picked out. And um, yeah, so I did all that. I just threw this wig on, my work wig. Cause y'all know the temperature drops at night so it'd be cold. And they have no freaking heat where I work. No shade to them, but the building is 30 years old. Well, the boat, because it's a boat, whatever. But um, yeah, I just put that on. I need to clip my cuticles because my cuticles are horrible. I do not take care of my nails. It's given. That's what it's given. My chest. Yeah. So yeah, I just did all that. It is one o'clock. I finished everything. I'm about to finally eat that breakfast that I made. Heat it up. Lay down and relax. So much fun. So much fun. Oh my God. Saturday, y'all, was so much fun. It just didn't make no sense. It didn't make no sense how much fun we had and how immature we were acting. But ain't that the point? Not to like go out and disturb other people's fun and disturb the peace. But when you go out with your friends, isn't the point to go out and have a great ass time? Isn't it to like feel nostalgic? You feel me? Like before life and responsibilities and kids and goddamn the IRS came and just effed up your life. Right? I'm, I, that's what, at least how I feel. When I'm with my friends, I want to have a good time. I'm childish. Not, not, not OD childish where it's like, oh my goodness. Like every time, no, not like that because there's some people who I know who just like are fucking big kids. Like it's so irritating. But when you go out, you go out to have a good time. And Saturday was nothing short of that. Like baby. The only thing that I just didn't like was the drag show. It was not giving uh, as much as it, like they were literally only walking to tables that had money up just to do a little shimmy, shimmy, shimmy and twirl away. Baby, I need the full goddamn throttle. And that was my first time going to a drag show. But the ones that I be sitting on TikTok, like it wasn't ticking how it was talking on there. Why I want my money back. I want my money back. And it was only $20. I still want it back. But uh, it was a blast friend just sent me in the group chat she just sent us the um a recording of when uh, oh my best friend fell let me see if i can show y'all you see her hiding behind there i'm by the glass just looking in the window i didn't want to turn around y'all <laughs> First of all, my best friend stays falling. I want her to do better. Her balance mm, is crappy once she starts drinking. That wasn't the first fall of that day. Secondly, I'm gonna insert some like clips and video.
I had so much damn fun. It's, I can't wait for the summer. And that was just something new for us to do. We've never done brunch together. All the years we've been friends. We've never went to a drag show. I don't know if they've been to one, like, you know, just in general. But it was so much fun. And this year we up, baby. Just trying new stuff. That's all we keep talking about. So we're tired of the same shit. Tired of the same conversations. Tired of the same atmosphere. Tired of the same fucking people. Tired of the same dudes. Tired. Of the same shit so i feel like we're moving in the right direction hopefully i don't know maybe if we just take away the alcohol we might be moving in the right direction <laughs> but i just want to come in check in with y'all yeah some of the other whatever just got the shower um yeah i'm about to eat and and relax and take a nap because yeah i have to work tonight so i'm gonna take a nap my day went from rushing 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 and feeling rush and anxiety to i'm from i went from like a seven right now i'm at like a a four three maybe once i eat and i actually sit down and i stop i'll be okay but yeah. all right y'all i'm gonna catch y'all probably tonight on my way to work talk to y'all for a little bit if not I'm going to catch y'all in the morning when we get off work and we're going to actually go to the gym. I don't know. I'm lying. We probably stay here because I have the girls go back to school tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. When I get off of work, my mom and her husband are already at work and my grandma is still, you know, healing and down. Her physical therapist doesn't come till Thursday, so I'm not going to the gym because I'm gonna have to be here in case she needs me or needs help getting up and walking to the bathroom or anything. So that was a lot for y'all. Y'all really didn't need to know that, but uh, mm -hmm, that's my life right now. That is my life. That is, I'm, I'm her. I'm the loving, caring, busy, yet tired, yet. I'm going to do it because can't nobody do it like me. And I'm a Virgo and I'm very OCD. So let me do it. Even though I'm tired and I'm going to complain. Because why the fuck am I the only one doing it? Why ain't nobody else responsible around here? That's how I feel. But then again, I got to remember. Everybody is 10 to 16 years younger than me. So what can they really do? What can they really freaking do? Alright, enough rambling and all this. I just want my baby was at the She was getting her hair cut Y'all saw that though Alright, now I'm just talking to be talking That's my problem, that is my problem Bye It's very really sick, so she's gonna take a little night call But a little bit You took the vitamins? Yeah I took them earlier you took them earlier? Yeah. After you ate breakfast? Oh, Lord, y'all. Stop doing that dumb shit, nah. Y'all yeah, always be wanting to jump. Come on. Don't stop talk to my falling. people like that. Stop you don't falling. even know them like that. Stop falling. Come on. Y'all, I hate medicine. You could have took the garlic and honey, but you don't want to. Yeah, very, Mama cookie. very holistic around here. Garlic and honey. If you ain't on it, just get you some garlic. Cut it up, cut it up, cut it up. Minced, minced, minced. Put it in a jar and drown it with some honey. What about cookie? Take, first of all, don't me. No, and take a teaspoon every day. It's a great gut cleaner. And we all know our gut is the host for our immune system. It's really good for parasite cleaning. So a lot of worms, you know, be coming out. And it gets rid of a mucus. I'm talking about mucus. Get it about you. If our ancestors survived off of it, I'm just saying we can survive off to it. We can survive off of it too. Learn to live with the land, not off it. Okay, that's my spiel for today. That's my preacher moment. That's the good deed. Remember that. I'm really done. I'm going to sleep. Come on, so I can give you a cookie. Hey, y'all. Um, I made it to work. I 
Submitted to work. Ah. I got a few minutes before I gotta go in, so I'm like chilling in the car. Um. Yeah, so I'm chilling. Finish my smoothie. The parking lot is dead as hell, so it's always dead on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. Really, it's always dead. Even Fridays and Saturdays. Like, people be coming, but they. It's like the younger college kids who just want to come get drunk, and then they. As soon as the last call, they run out of here. So after like 2 30, it's dead. I think that also contributes to me not not jumping for joy to go to work because it don't be it don't be shit to do. It's already third shift and then it drags, so that don't be fun. Y'all be making me happy. I love that. But anywho, how do y'all feel about Chris Brown? He went off on a girl from Three Little Women. And um, she made a comment talking about Chris Brown is a woman beater. And all like the snap because now he has a song coming out with Chloe Bailey. I don't understand where or how that even, like, you know, him making a song with her equal to bringing up his past. But he went off. He, like, posted so many white men and women who have been in, who have domestic, like, freaking charges against them. And he's like, y'all ain't canceling them as hard as y'all canceling me. That shit happened when I was 17. I am 33 years old. I have grown. I have, you know, paid my dues over that situation. Yet y'all still trying to cancel me, but y'all don't be canceling these white men or these white white women. Because it was a couple women up in there. I was surprised. I said, hold on, Nicholas Cage. Not national treasures. He out here whooping people. Like, it was crazy. But I, I stand with him. I ain't finna hold you. I can see if he did that at 17 and he kept making it a habit. Honestly, I don't follow Chris Brown like that. So if he's, if he's, if he's, you know, did anything else, oh shit. I'm going to eat these words. But to me, I don't think, I haven't heard Chris Brown do anything else. And then it's the people who canceling him. You at home on your couch getting your ass whooped anyways. No offense, but let's be real. Let's be brutally honest. This year, be brutally honest with your goddamn self. Uh-uh. We not finna be doing all that lying. Come on now. Even if you ain't getting physically abused, you let a motherfucker verbally abuse you. Talk down on you.